watched the battle in this arrest in Inkster last year becomes a battle over boot camp. The fate of former police officer Bill Melendez, who was convicted of assault with intent to do great bodily harm, is hanging in the balance. This case went to the state court of appeals over the issue of boot camp versus prison. And it has the prosecutor and the defense attorney on the same side. Seven investigator Jim Kirstner now breaks it all down for us. Jim. Yeah, Curtis, these are the court documents, and the two opposite sides got together in a rare move because of what the trial judge, Vonda Evans, did. You were so into your bravado that you forgot the eye of justice was watching you and recording this disgusting beating. In February, Judge Vonda Evans sentenced Bill Melendez to 13 months to 10 years in prison. The State Department of Corrections then determined Melendez was a candidate for an alternative to prison. This boot camp near Chelsea, Michigan. Melendez was in that for two weeks when Judge Evans found out and tried to modify her sentence. It was too late. She lost jurisdiction. Both the prosecution and defense attorney for Melendez appealed and won. The state says 326 inmates are in the boot camp. It has a capacity of 400. If he goes there for 90 to 120 days, Melendez would then be eligible for parole rather than serve the entire minimum of 13 months. In this video from last year, Floyd Dent was hit 16 times in 10 seconds by Melendez. He was an officer uh, dedicated to the profession. That's boot camp. He should have known what the rules and regulations were, yet he defied them. So why should he now be rewarded to go back to a boot camp situation? It doesn't make any sense to me. Floyd Dent retired from Ford Motor Company and has now been paid more than a million dollars by the city of Inkster. The attorney for Melendez and prosecutor declined to comment on these latest developments, but we are told the prosecutor still disagrees with the boot camp option. To Mr. Dent and his family, I am truly sorry. Floyd Dent's attorney says the original minimum sentence of 13 months should have been more, preventing the battle over boot camp. Quite honestly, we were thinking three to four at least. So for him to get that type of treatment already at the very beginning, he got, he got a break. And there are always two sides to a story. Get this, for Bill Melendez and even his family, he and they are getting death threats. Live in the newsroom, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Jim, thank you. Tonight, U.S. Marshal.